Hello and welcome back to Buncee Basics, a guide to getting started. This is the second video in a series that will show you everything you need to know to get started on Buncee. In this video, we're going to talk about sharing your Buncees. We'll cover sharing by code, or using a link or embedding on a site, sharing by email and tracking, sharing by RSVP and tracking, sharing to students, which is only applicable to educator accounts, and vice versa, sharing to teachers, which of course is only applicable to student accounts, sharing to social media, sharing by QR code, and setting sharing permissions. So let's get started. So we've just made our Buncee, and now we want to share it. So we can click on the share button right here, and this brings up our share options. So right here we can see we're on the settings tab and this is where we control our sharing permissions. Right now it's selected to anyone with a link, so that means anyone that has a link to this Buncee can view it, so it's as far as you let it go. We can also set it to perhaps you want to keep this Buncee private and only I can see it. If we click on anyone, then the Buncee team can see it and it's eligible for staff picks. So if you're interested in that, you can click on anyone. But in general, we recommend anyone with a link is what you should keep it on. So that way, anyone that has a link to this Buncee can view it. You also have the option to make your Buncee commentable or not. That means others can leave comments on it. Or to make it copyable or not. And that means that others can copy this Buncee and edit it, edit it themselves without having to alter your original Buncee. The next tab we have right here is that code, and this is that link that we were talking about earlier. Um, so if you want to share your Buncee with a link, all you need to do is click copy and your link has been copied. Now you're always going to use this top link unless you're embedding a link on a site. So if you're embedding uh, your Buncee on a website, you're going to use this bottom code and you're going to hit copy and embed it however you need to. Um, now this is very useful perhaps if you have a newsletter and you want to embed that uh, newsletter on your school website. Um, and then maybe you want to update that newsletter every, every week, every month, whatever the case may be. You can go ahead and do that. All you need to do is update your Buncee and this link will be updated automatically. You don't have to re-embed that link every time you update your newsletter. But in general, you're going to use this top link. And what I like to say is anywhere you can share a link, you can share a Buncee. So when in doubt, all you need to do is copy this link and then you can paste it wherever you need to paste it, whether it be in the body of an email, whatever the case may be. Now, speaking of email, we do have an email function. Now, you can of course, like I said, anywhere you can share a link, you can share a Buncee. So you can copy and paste that link into the body of an email. But if you use our email function, it might be a little bit easier for you. You can click on send email and you can choose from your list of contacts. You can either enter it in manually or use a CSV import to, Im to uh, import your contacts. So you can select who you want to email to and then send with the push of a button. And it's very easy. Now the other benefit to doing it that way is you can check your email status. So after you've sent your email, you can actually check the status of it. You can click on an email that you've sent, click on details, and you can see, was this email bounced back? Was it delivered? Was it clicked on? Was it opened? Did it drop, perhaps? Whatever the case may be. And this is particularly useful if you're sending something to parents, you wanna communicate with them, and you can see just exactly, you know, did they, did they receive this email? Did they open it? Did they read it? So that's very useful for that. Next, we have a share with students. This is a teacher account, of course, so we have the share with students option. If this was a student account, they would see share with teacher right here, and it works very much the same way. We can click on that, and where it says add sections, sections just means your class, so you can click on that, you can click on your class, and then you can select your students, and click share. And now we've shared with that class. And this is great because sometimes not everything you want to share with your students is an assignment. Sometimes you just want to share a Buncee with them. So this is an excellent way to do that. Your students can see the Buncees you've shared with them by going to their dashboard, clicking the Buncees tab, clicking shared with me, 
and then they can see all of the buncees that you shared with them. They can open them up and copy them if need be. Next we have RSVP function and this works uh, very similarly to our email function. We can just click send RSVP and it creates a little evite for us. So we can enter the title, we can enter a message, choose the location, date, time, all of this information and then send with the push of a button. And very similarly to our email function, the benefit to doing this is that you can track your RSVP status. So we can click that and we can see who responded to our RSVP. So if we've made a barbecue invitation, for example, we can see who responded, who said no, who hasn't answered, and they can leave comments as well. So this is excellent if you are organizing a fundraiser, you can send out an RSVP and see uh, who's coming, how many people you can get, uh, start to get a head count for that, as well as organize who will be bringing what. Next we have social media. So Buncee makes it very easy to share with social media with the push of a button. Uh, if you are a teacher and you're sharing to your school social media website or perhaps you're trying to build your own PLN or personal learning network, this is a great way to do it. Um, you can share to Facebook, Twitter, anything you need very easily. Uh, if you use Google Classroom, you can share your Buncee to Google Classroom and use it that way. The choice is yours. Lastly, you can click on download. And if you want to print out your Buncee, I mentioned in the first video, some teachers like to print out this QR code, uh, cut it out, paste it to the student's desk, have that student scan it and be taken to this Buncee. This is a great way to do that. You can click on the individual thumbnails and then download that and print it out. Or you can download the Buncee as a PDF. The choice is yours. Lastly, I just want to show you, I mentioned the email and RSVP function. You can also check that from your dashboard. So you can come back to your dashboard. Up here in the corner, corner you'll see your uh, profile picture. You can click on that. And you can see here, you can check your email status by clicking on send emails. Same thing with RSVPs, you can click on that. And this brings you to the same page. You can see those details right here. This concludes our sharing portion. I hope that you'll uh, check out the next part of this video series, which is part three, where we're going to talk all about the classroom dashboard. Thank you so much for watching.